So I big chopped on March 26, 2010, and um, my cousin talked to me about going natural for about a week, and um, it was a Friday, and the next Friday, we were ready. We decided, let's do it. Um, there was not much thought into it. Um, we just did it. Like... I believe my cousin had been thinking about going natural for some time. Um, from what she says, she had the idea from high school. And just to give you an understanding of how much time from high school to the actual big chop, I graduated high school in 2003. My cousin graduated high school 2002, but we didn't big chop until 2010. So for my cousin, that was like eight years. <laughs> um, and for me, it was one week. <laughs> so it really didn't take me much time to decide to big chop. It was pretty much, she said she wanted to do it. And I, you know, kind of try to talk her out of it but um after watching lots of videos on YouTube um I was inspired and so I decided to do it so we met up that Friday um March 26 2010 and we decided we were gonna cut off our hair so she went out and she bought shears and I came over with the Chinese food, and um, she had some Nouveau at home, and we opened that up, and um, we cut off all our hair. So this is what my hair looked like <laughs> right after the big chop. When I was one month natural, um, most of the time I was trying to achieve a really defined curl pattern in my natural hair. I would wake up in the morning, condition my hair, um, and uh, put in some Eco Stylo Gel or IC Fantasia Gel. And some days I would do a little bit, some days I would do a lot. I would pretty much, you know, tell myself that my hair is going to curl into curls that um, were similar to some other people's curls, and that's what I did. So here, here it is. Now, when I was two months natural, my hair was a little bit longer. And so I had not given up on the idea that my hair would curl at some time. Um, I guess it was like a glimmer of hope, you know. I had faith. <laughs> so, but what I did start doing was, because I had some more length, I started to two-strand twist it at night using shea butter. So I calmed down on the co-washing I wasn't doing it every single day um, and I would put the shea butter in my hair and I would two strand twist my hair in, at night and then the next morning I would take it down so depending on like the style of twisting I did I mean like maybe it depending on how large I, of sections I use would depend on would determine the look 
So you'll see in the next set of photos, sometimes it's like really tight and sometimes it's more fluffy and loose. And um, that's how I got my curl definition. In month three, I had some serious hang time. <laughs> well, not really, but pretty much in month three, I was able to do some updos with flat twists, some two-strand twists, um, just, you know, out by themselves, not having to do a twist out. And I tried out some, some really neat styles that I've seen um, women do on YouTube. I was... Finding out how creative I was when it came to styling my hair because I never had done those styles on myself or anyone. So here you'll see some of my creative styles in month three. So month four was pretty interesting. Um, I decided to put kinky twists in my hair um, on my own. So I went to the store and I purchased the hair that you use for kinky twists, which is Afro Kinky Bulk. And I watched some YouTube videos on how to install them. And I installed them on my own. Um, my technique wasn't really good at all and it took me about two days or maybe a week to put them in all together I did them in sections um, and I did it in a way that would allow for me to uh, go to work and not have it look crazy but um you know when I was finally done it looked decent and I put I left it in for about three weeks in month four and then I took it out and then in month five, you know, I tried a couple different hairstyles. Once the kinkies just were out, my hair had grown just a little bit longer. And then um, I tried, I believe, my first band to knot out. And um, like a, my first roll tuck and pin. Um, and then I put my hair back in kinky twist. But this time I didn't do it myself. I went and I got them done professionally because my hair was at a length that wasn't really, I don't know, I guess it was it was called, the, what people call the awkward length. It wasn't really long, you know, and it wasn't really short, so my two-strand twist kind of just like stuck up, and it was pretty, but I just, I wanted to put my hair away, so, I mean, I guess you could just say, I wasn't satisfied with what my hair was looking like every day when I took it down, so I put it up in the kinky twist. I kept them in for about two months, so this is what I had for months four and months five. As I explained, I kept the kinky twist in for about two months and um, the professional ones. And I had my self-installed kinky twist in for about three weeks. 
so that's about maybe two, almost two and a half months, right? Or about actually more than two and a half months. So when I took the kinky twist down in month six, I was so impressed with my growth. It was absolutely amazing. I tried out uh, so many different styles. Oh my God, two strand twists, flat twists. For the first time, flat twists were looking great on me. I was doing roll tuck and pins. I was wearing my hair in a twist out. I was just so excited with my growth. It was amazing. So month six was really fun and it pretty much went the same way into month seven. Um, six and seven was just like me really enjoying my hair because it had been up for so long and I really, really, really had fun styling it. It was like soothing. For the first time um, ever, I had like like my hair falling over in the front. So that was really cute because before, you know, it wasn't long enough to do that and now I could rock a bang. So I was really excited about my hair after having it in my protective style for that amount of time. Here's some pics. every day. <laughs> I would be twist my hair at night and then I would wear a flat twist out during the day and that's what I did for all of month seven for the most part. I mean I probably tried some styles here and there but mainly it was flat twist out. creative months for me. I created the chic roll tuck and pin and I created the elegant roll tuck and pin, um, the big strand, the big two strand twist out protective style updo um, was also in my rotation. So pretty much I was wearing those styles out every other day or every couple of days I would try a new one and then you know, wear it. So that's what I did.
during months 11, uh, 10 and 11, I was really, really doing the two strands for self. Um, you know, which is pretty much what I used to do when I first went natural. I would do the two strands for self. But during months 11 and 12, because my hair had grown uh, to a, a nice length, I could do a much larger two strand twists and get like really cute curls. So that was what I did. During months 10 and 11, In months 10 and 11, that's actually um, when I created a new technique for the braid out and I fell in love with the braid out. And you know, the styles that I tried. hair journey and I hope it was interesting for you to go on my journey with me and um, the next couple of videos are going to be some of my favorite products and products that I use and so on because um, I want to share with you uh, what things I use to get my hair to where it is now. <laughs> thank you so much for watching and thank you for being a part of my journey and my, my channel. Love you guys. Mwah.